How do you properly set up the shipping and return tabs in Facebook Commerce Manager so you can get Instagram and Facebook shopping? Hi everyone, I'm Lydia on the channel. We'll talk about social media marketing for business. If you're interested, make sure to subscribe. In today's video, we're going to go through how to set up shipping and returns in your Commerce Manager so you can get access to this feature, this shopping feature that Instagram and Facebook offers. The shipping and return tab are two tabs that they've recently introduced and they are mandatory to be filled out so you can get access to this feature. You should fill this out before you even apply for the feature, so let me tell you how it's done. For the shipping tab, you need to go to business.facebook.com, go to commerce, then if you're not in the right commerce manager, make sure to switch to the commerce manager you want to do the settings for so you can get this feature. So use the commerce manager that has the catalog that you want those products to be in and that you want to create the shop in. If you're curious about exactly how to set up a commerce account from scratch, step by step, please watch this video right here after this one. So now you're in your commerce account, you're at the overview tab, you need to go to settings at the bottom and then click on shipping. Next, you'll need to add a shipping profile. So click on that. Here is where you'll be able to create a specific shipping profile for a collection or a type of product. For example, if you're selling shoes and shoes are more expensive to ship than normal clothing, then you will need a separate shipping profile for that specific product or categories of product. To create your shipping profile, add a name and also a reference ID. If you don't want to add a reference ID right now, they will choose one for you, so that is not mandatory. Click next, then add a country that you do ship to. So here is where you'll need to add a country, then select the shipping time, the handling time, then offer standard shipping. Enable that if you want to add those details, the prices, base rate and rate per additional item. Also add a card minimum for free shipping and estimated delivery days. If you ship to another destination, select another country and fill the details in again. Then you will need to repeat that for all the destinations that you ship to. But that is for that specific shipping profile for that specific product. So if you will need another shipping profile for another type of product, let's say more heavy products like traveling bags or more lightweight products like jewelry, you'll need to create another shipping profile and then repeat the same process again, add countries that you ship those products to, add the handling time, the estimated cost deliveries and everything else. Then you will need to review your settings and if you want to, you have the option of setting one shipping profile as your default shipping profile for that to be the main one that you go to all the time. Now, for the returns, you will need to go to returns. First, you will have the option of choosing a new returns policy link. So there, you will need to add the page that contains the returns policy on your website. So either that is your privacy policy page or terms and conditions page, you will need to add the link to that in the returns tab right there. Next, you will need to add if your returns policy has any restrictions. For example, you cannot return items that are damaged, that are open, that have been worn, that have open packaging. You will also need to select if you offer free return shipping or if people need to pay for the return and if you provide a free return shipping label in each package or if they will need to download or print it out themselves when they are returning an item. Also the basic returns time is 30 days but if you don't offer returns at all you can include that in the link that you add to your returns policy or you should be able to modify that and say that you offer returns maximum of 14 days or in how much time people can return their items to you. So this is it for the shipping and return tabs and how you set them up in your Facebook Commerce Manager account. If you want to watch more videos on Facebook and Instagram Instagram marketing, you have these playlists right here. So make sure to check those out if you want to grow your business with Instagram and Facebook. If you need somebody to take care of your social media marketing, my services are linked in the description below. As always, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe for more videos every single week. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.